Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Making a Name. My name is Troy and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to be playing at home, uh, on both games actually, against Wolves and Wolves in the Prem and West Brom in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Just a recap of what's happened since the last game. The last game was the first two England matches. I uh, have played another two England matches since then. Uh, so we saw this and this. Uh, we've beat Switzerland 2-1 and we beat Italy 2-0. That currently leaves us top of Group A, no, sorry, Group 2, um, in pole position to go through. We're expected to meet the semi-finals in this competition. Uh, however, the board have said they, they're not going to judge me. Really random. I don't quite get how it's working. Uh, so all good on the England front. Stoke front. Since you were last with me, um, the it's, it's been up and down really, to be honest. Um, so, uh, beat Brighton, lost against Liverpool, uh, we drew against Shakhtar Soligorsk, uh, then we lost against Newcastle, but we beat Everton, but then we lost against Everton. So we beat Everton in the Carabao Cup third round uh, to go through to play West Brom in this episode today, but then we lost straight away to them 3-1 they're a completely different team like they pretty much had the same players but they just rinsed us however October has been a really really good month um, we beat uh, pa Panionius 6-1 uh, in Group H of the Euro Cup uh, then we beat Arsenal 3-2 yep believe it or not we beat Arsenal 3-2 and we were 3-1 up one point then we beat Fulham 5-4, and we were 4-1 down at one point. 4-1 uh, down before half-time, I think. No, just after half-time, we were 4-1 down after 54 minutes, and it was just no good. So, demanded more. Epic. Like, 90, 95th minute winner. It's amazing. Good game. Uh, and then we beat Zelina 7-0. Uh, so, again, we're doing pretty well in that as well. We're top of the group in there. Um, again, pole position to make it through. Hopefully we can do well in that competition. Uh, but today we are up against the Wolves in the Prem. I believe this for Stoke is a big game. It's a, it's a rivalry against Wolves. So it's going to be a big game. Um, did we play them already? We haven't played them already this season, have we? Didn't play them in a friendly World Cup. No. So it's first game against Wolves. Big, comp, big uh, opposition today. Uh, so, I'm not sure whether I should bother changing the first 11 because they've played so well. There's no real fitness concerns, majorly anyway. Um, yeah, fane has been playing really well. Doyle's, Doyle's gone up another half star because he's played really well. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyone that needs to play? Benjamin Sesco's getting time in the uh, reserves just to try and get some, uh, what do you call it? Some game time, some goals under his belt. Eze's been poor, and I'm not really sure I'm going to keep Eze by the end of the season. I think I'm going to sell him on. He is... How much did I buy him for? 14.5 million. It was a bad buy. He's on 54k a week. Pretty sure he's the highest earner, and he's just useless. Um, so, we're going to go with Tarati in goal, uh, with a back four of Mendes, Webster, Fry and Godwin. Uh, Pino uh, was rested last game, uh, and he's now come back not quite fully fit. So, I'm going to rest him again, and keep Collins on the bench as cover. Uh, and, yeah, Godwin at the back. Uh, Doyle and Fane in the centre of midfield. Uh, Millward, Darcy and Vallela, um supporting Bonazali. Bonazali's had kind of a, a surge... In goals, he's scored in every single game in the last four games. That's so three, six, seven, eight, eight goals in four games. So cannot drop him. Let's get into the game. Hopefully we can take this great form that we're in, in this month, and take it forward. Right, so stoked to kick off. We've gone really attacking as well because the board were unhappy that we weren't really attacking much, which obviously last season we did a lot of, just to kind of take the league by storm. This year I thought maybe a, a dialed back approach, but 
the board one attacking, so I'll go attacking, and it seems to be paying off, to be honest. Because although we do concede, and Pino was a great addition in the uh, in the back line, he's not the answer. Oh, we've got a penalty! Oh, who's going to take it? Bonazali? Should be Bonazali. Come on. 1-0. Get in. Two minutes on the clock. It's a good start. Really good start. Tenth goal of the season. What's that? Nine goals from five games for Bonazali. He should get player of the month this year. No, this month, sorry. So we're up to 12th. Um, yeah, we were doing pretty poor. We were down in the relegation zone, so a little bit surge of form has kind of shot us up the table. As all the board want is avoid relegation. So that's all I'm going to plan for. Um, I think maybe it was a little bit... Because we got Europe last year. Maybe I was kind of putting a little bit too much pressure on the team first off. Um, also switched up my corner tactics, kind of going near post now. Because uh, far post, we've got a tall team, but there are a few teams that were kind of nullifying our approach to the back post and we weren't getting anything for it. So I thought I'd keep the near post and also the long throws are just great at times. Webster, second goal of the season. Godwin's a good right back. Definitely upgraded. Uh, selling, what was it, Bauer, Patrick and Edwards. Getting Godwin on, on loan for the second season. And he seems to have settled in really nicely. He's playing really well. 2-0 right, at half-time. Pretty even down the line, but we've obviously taken our chances. We apparently struggle for possession in the oppos opposition's half. Uh, but we're doing really well. You know, we're at home. I'm going to ask to... Don't look at the scoreboard. Any concerns? Godwin is a little bit of a concern. But we'll leave him on for now. Alright, walls with the kickoff. Looks like they're keeping the ball. So yeah, hopefully this year I can get to a few uh, competitions, try and make some money. Um, again, this isn't a, just a Stoke save, so if I get an offer from an, another team, then I will be going. Well, it's got to be a better offer. Um, kind of looking for one of the bigger teams in one of the big leagues. So I'm happy to go to La Liga, Serie A, uh, Ligue 1, uh, Bundesliga, or one of the top, more top teams in the Prem. Uh, I won't be taking a, a step down, only a step up. Obviously, unless I get sacked, which is a different story. Um, so yeah, hoping I can try and push my reputation up. All good save, good save. That was a good chance for Wolves there. Right, Godwin with another throw. Can we sneak another goal? No. Nope. Wolves clear it. Back to Fane. Fane to Valela. Valela loses the ball a little bit haphazardly there. Don't really sure what he was after. Right, Real with the break. That's Jimenez. Ooh. That was a lucky escape for us there. We should have defended better. All right, Doyle with a free kick. Big ball to the back post. Valela picks up the ball. He needs to be better on his crossing. He's a good player, but he's terrible at crossing for a winger. He's awful. All right, Nito's pushing right at us. That's good read of the play. All right, Wolves are coming out. Oh, Valela with a great steal. Who is this? Burnage is on fire. Millward doesn't really control the ball. Fane. Yeah, this left back there is just Reading the play really well. Come on, Godwin. Godwin. Cross it. Bonazali. Doyle. It's blocked. Okay, okay, okay. Now, they are pushing at us a lot more in this second half. They... Oh, 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 that was lucky. I think I'll... Oh. I was going to pause and make some subs. I'll see what happens from this. Mendes with a long throw. It's cleared by the Wolves' defence. Uh, Fain to pick up the ball. Fain is a great acquisition uh, from our director of football. He's a really good steal. I would never have found him. And he's come in, four-star player, solidified our midfield, which is really good. All right. Webster to Fain. Fain with a big ball to the right. Bonazali, good defending. All right, Wolves clear the ball. Uh, 
and the highlight comes to an end. Okay, so it's time to make some changes. It was, again, the two new up, uh, but they are kind of making a foothold back in the game. It's been equal, we've taken our chances, they haven't taken theirs, so it could easily be 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two to them. Uh, so we just need to maybe dial it back a little bit with a more positive approach. Let's drop Millward and Valela back just to try and cover any overlaps. Let's move you Godwin back to a support function because we don't need to push on. We've got 15 minutes left of the game. We should be able to keep this intact. I'm just deciding what kind of move to make. I think I'm going to bring Brunner on for Doyle. Doyle's had an okay game. But Brunner is a good player. Um, and I'm going to bring on Vieira for Fane. Just to shore up that midfield, really, I suppose. Um, maybe another five minutes and I might bring uh, Partipilo on for Bonazzali. Give him the last ten minutes of a, of a rivalry match. Yeah, let's bring him off. Give him some game time, get some fitness up. All right, Wolves at a free kick. Nito down the left wing, or their right wing, however you want to say it. Good clearance away from Godwin. Can we break away? Right, Brunner. Brunner to Millward. Millward to break down the left. He skips past this man. It's a really good play. He's going to take a shot. He does. Not really sure. I would have I preferred him to cross it, obviously. Uh, Wolves, another free kick. I feel we're giving away too many. Might have to work on that. We're batting it away though, which is good. Millward chasing down the ball. Go on, son. Causes the goalkeeper to make it. Oh, that's Darcy, sorry. Go on, Darcy. I think that's blocked slightly. We are playing really well. I'm going to drop some praise. Everyone's happy. Lovely jubbly. All right, let's see out the game. All right, Tarati, Webster. Webster to Mendes. Back inside to Brunner. Brunner. Hopefully burst forward, box to box roll. Out to the left wing to Millward. Millward cuts inside to Valela. Valela to Darcy. Darcy shoots, saved by us. Offside. Good play though. That's really good. Stretched him. Oh, we've got the ball back again. Don't think Wolves can't really string a couple of passes together today. We've been quite lucky on that regard. Good challenge by Valela. Breaking up the play, settle it down, reposition ourselves. Vieira, Darcy, Darcy get up over the top. No, he's got to run with it. And it's all over. Lovely 2 0 victory. Really good play. Yeah, best performer, Godwin. Played really well today. Very happy with the way we played, lads. You can tell from the defence. Really good. Let's go back into that. Our defence had pretty solid ratings today, which tells the story. But again, we took our chances. So we're up to 11th in the table after 10 games. We lost five games already, but considering this against Everton, Newcastle and Liverpool, they're all above us. Uh, who else did we lose to? Leeds and Bournemouth. They're below us again. Okay, we lost two poor games, but three of the games we lost, we probably were always going to lose. Although we did beat Arsenal. Take that as you will. Uh, so what I'm going to do is skip forward to the West Brom game, which is in a couple of days, and I'll see you in a minute. So here we are, a uh, game against West Brom in the Carabao Cup. We are at home. Let's pretty much get straight into it. Nothing's changed. Nothing's happened in the, between the two games. So let's get over to the tactics screen. We've got to go with a rotated side because uh, we do have Spurs in like two days after. Uh, we've already met our expectations in the Carabao Cup and considering we're in Europe and Europe's going to pay out more than the Carabao Cup um, and obviously we've got the FA Cup coming in January rotated side see what happens I mean West Brom is a uh, another derby game so we'll see what happens uh, our reputation has also seen an increase if you didn't see that it's gone from three stars to three and a half which is awesome uh, so yeah the rotated side is going to be Broom in goal who's our backup goalkeeper I'm also going to put Brassington on the bench. 
give Tarati a rest. Got Mendes, Collins, Pino, and Godwin in the back line. I was going to put in um, Andreoli. Actually, do you know what? I might put Andreoli in. And then pop Godwin onto the bench. Um, so, yeah, back line's going to be Mendes, Collins, Pino, and Andreoli. Uh, Bruna and Vieira in the mid. Uh, Eze, Darcy, and Bjork supporting Sesco up front. And the bench is going to be Brassington as our backup goalkeeper, Webster and Godwin for defensive cover, Woods and Gregera and Ince as midfield cover, and Partipilo as um, sub for the forwards. Um, as you can see here, uh, Andrioli can only play 75 minutes, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's see if we can go smash. West Brom. Yeah, let's pick up where we left off. Playing really well. Let's not tinker too much. Really good if Sesco can get a goal. Set him off. I mean, he can speak English. So There's nothing to do with communication. I think he's just settling into the team. Settling into the different type of league. Now we're coming out strong from the gate. Can we cross it in? What a clutch. From Gray and the goalkeeper. Snatches it right out of the air. West Brom with a big ball forward. What a goal. Wow. I can't do anything about that, apart from maybe close it down a little bit quicker, but this is epic. What a ball. Big ball forward. Collins probably could have got closer, but he brings it down one touch and then smash into the top corner. You can't do anything about that. That's a goal of the season. Kind of goal, wow. See how we get on though. Andrelli with the cross in. Oh, what a goal. Sesco, I think it's off the goalkeeper, and this to Brunner puts it into the bottom corner. That's lovely. So Andrelli with the big throw in. in. Sesco, oh, bounces off the defender, I think. Well, that'll do me. One all. 10 minutes on the clock. What a start to a game. That's it, closing the goalkeeper down, forcing him to make a, make a uh, decision. Now we've got the ball, passing it around nicely. Good challenge. Mendes picks up the ball. Eze, Eze cuts it inside to Brunner. Brunner's shot is blocked. All right, West Brom with a corner. Sessing on to take it. Floats it in. Pino cuts it off at the near post, which is exactly what I want to do. He's 6-4, I think. So it's a nice big defender to have there. Passing the ball around a little bit suspiciously. I'm not keen on keeping it in our area, but that'll do. Right, Sesco nods it to absolutely no one. Good cut out by Nuno Mendes to Brunner. Vieira to Sesco. Eze with the ball with a shot. Probably should have tested the goalkeeper from that range. But at least we're making chances. But they're our six to their one, although we've only put one actually on target, which we need to do much better with that because if we continue this form they'll just hit us on the break and we'll probably lose Bjork running down the right wing big cross in not to really anyone which is slightly disappointing Eze blocks it out Brunner with the ball on the edge of the box Eze and again another wide shot after eight I'm going to demand a little bit more I think because nine shots ten shots and two on target is not a good return I think it'd be shooting from, for shooting's sake. There we go. I think that's a off the post or a good defender block. Uh, Darcy picks up the ball, draws in a foul. Well played. Although the highlight comes to absolutely nothing. Yeah, twelve shots, three on target. It's a really poor return. All right, we need to close him down. Well done, Vieira. That was really well timed. Really good tackle. Vieira back to Nuno Mendes. Mendes into the middle of the park for Darcy. Darcy back to Pino. Pino out wide to Andrioli. Can he get a good cross in? He seems to be quite narrow. I would have probably preferred him to go a little bit wider there. Vieira picks up the ball though. Into Bruno in the centre and mid. Darcy out wide to Andrioli. That's exactly where I want him. Crosses in, it's blocked. Bruno to Vieira. Vieira is the playmaker today, so good chance to pick out something good. Does pick out Eze, nods it down to Mendes. Mendes trying to find an opening. 
Bjork, just wide, unlucky Bjork. If we can grab a goal just before half time, that'd be swell. I don't think it's going to happen though. West Brom would throw. Make a challenge, make a challenge, make a challenge, make a challenge. Offside, well offside. Okay, so half comes to an end, 1-1, one, one, 17 shots, 5 on target, that's a really poor return. Um, does he recommend any analysis? He says try more long balls forward, but I don't think that's the issue. Let's get into the tactics screen. Let's try working the ball into the box, rather than just punting it. And you, you're going to be an inverted winger rather than an inside forward. Yeah, as a 6.3, like, what are you, mate? You're useless. Now, if we can get a goal, we can make this happen. Let's give him a little bit of belief. as has got 10 minutes to impress me, otherwise he's being subbed, and then I'll sell him in January, hopefully. Get a nice, <laughs> decent replacement. I've got a couple of replacements that I think are out on loan. I don't know if one's in the under-23s and one's out on loan, but... Um, got a couple of replacements for the left wing that are up and coming. Right, Andrew Lee with a big throw in. It's nodded on. Vieira picks up the ball. Bjork. A bit of a tame effort. I think it's on his weaker foot, though, to be honest. All right. Good, we clear that one out. Oh, I was a little bit worried then. It's going to be another replica of the, their goal. Right, Sesco picks up the ball. Can he make something? Go on, Sesco. What a wild shot that was. Hit it with so much power and no accuracy. Mendes with the big throw in. No one really jumps for it. Brunner picks up the ball, gives it back to Mendes. Mendes cuts down to the byline. Brunner, Sesco, Darcy. Darcy with the goal. Yes, second of the season. Another Benjamin Sesco assist. Lovely. Perfectly placed finish. That was a good goal. I'm happy with that. It was working, maybe working the ball into the box really did make a difference. We'll soon find out. That's a really well worked goal though. Oh no, Mendes has been injured. Right, Godwin's going to come on. And for Andreoli, when the time comes, I'm going to have to move Pino out to the right back and bring on Webster. That's a shame. But I've got time in that can come in and make a difference. Or oh, Bjork with a good free kick. Deserve more. Keeping the pressure on. Winning the ball back a little bit. Could have done better to probably keep the ball. Goes that foul. Now it's a corner. Okay, right. Let's defend well. Defend it, defend it. Oh, wow. Shouldn't have conceded that. Should not have conceded that. Let's look at this. Who fails here? I mean, he comes straight off the... He's straight, he's straight off him. Number... Th Who was that? Number three. Andreoli. just hits Andreoli. He doesn't even do anything about it. Uh, come on, boys. Let's demand more. We've dominated this game. We should not be too all. Now they're on the attack again. I mean, I'm pleased with the rotated side. We've dominated the game, but we shouldn't be losing. Not losing, we shouldn't be drawing. And we're in danger of losing as well. Another free kick for West Brom, nice and wide. All right, before that highlight happens, let's make a change. As a awful, Tom Ince can come on. And Bjork. Hmm. <laughs> Let's leave Bjork on. Give it another five minutes. It'd be good for Tom Ince to bring on his experience. Make a decent example of himself and hopefully sell him in January because I've been trying to get rid of him. Not because he's bad, he's just not as good as he was and I've got better players now, so he needs to move on. It's 32, I think. Andrew Lee would cut in. Yes, Eze! Finally! You're still coming off because you've had a 75-minute bad game, so it's already happening, mate. Yep. 
Right, 10 minutes to go nearly. See this highlight out and then make a tactical change. Andreoli bring, gives it to Bjork. Bjork back to Andreoli. Andreoli with a shot straight at the goalkeeper. All right, back to positive. Let's drop this line back a little bit. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Sometimes time waste. And then, I mean, that's really, it's looking pretty all right. He is looking okay. Uh, Bjork. I don't know what change to make. So I'm going to do drop Darcy back and put on Woods and then swap those two over and then rather than attacking if you'll have you as support so you can drop back a little bit um, deep line playmaker you can be a ball winning midfielder are you better at ball winning midfielding? Yeah, let's swap you two over. Why's our kit changed? Well, that's a glitch. <laughs> All right, a few more minutes on the clock. Extra time waste, be more disciplined. Let's praise the performance. Let's keep this out. There's obviously a glitch going on because half my players are in black, half my players are in a red and white stripe. So I don't know what's happening there. Godwin with an excellent challenge. Gives it straight back to the winger though, which is bad. And luckily, O'Brien misses because that would have been disastrous. We dominated this game. All right. I don't know what's... Why? It's really up in. I don't know if it's the ref or not. Goes out of play. I think we've won this game. And Drioli with a throw in. Just throw it directly to a player. Waste the time. Good boy. Nice. Michael Oliver blows game. What? That's a good result. A little bit too close to the wire with regards to. There's only three on target. Two of them are goals. It's a little bit disappointing. But we won the game. Got to be proud. Got to be happy. Quickly. Bust on forward for the... Oh, he's out for three months. No. Yeah, you're going to come straight back into the team, mate, because you're great. A um, little bit of a side note. Callum Abbott. It's an excellent potential goalkeeper for the future. English, 17-year-old. Capped at under-21 level for a 17-year-old. It's really good. Um... So I'm looking to try and bring him in, Blackburn. They're in a championship. He's interested in coming. However, they don't want to sell him. Um, so I've only got three million, so I might try and declare interest as a transfer. I am going to chase him. I would love to make him part of my team. Made him happy as well. He wants to impress me in his next performance. That's good. Do you wish to respond to Steve Cooper's rather critical comments following your meeting with West Brom? He said, I don't think Stoke are as good as people make them out to be. Well, it was a rotated side, Steve. So, chill your boots. Um, no, I don't. Let's quickly try and move on forward. When's the... Right. Try and get forward to this quarterfinal league. Quarterfinal, quarterfinal Carabao Cup draw. Bust on through quickly. Got a tough game against Spurs coming up. Now I've got a, an away game in Zelina. I think they're Belarusian. I believe they are Belarusian. All right, quarterfinal cup draw. Come on. Bust on through this. Yeah, so some tough games coming up this month. We've got Spurs, Zelina, 
United, Chelsea, Shakhtar, and then West Ham. That is a tough month. Okay. Adam Zohol or Wozek won the Player of the Month. A little bit of a shame because I think Goblin's played really well. So it's Bonazali, which is a little bit disappointing. Three appearances, three goals. You compare that with Bonazali. Where are you, mate? Where are you? I'm sorry. So, three appearances, four goals. But apparently, because it's United, he has to bet whatever. Whatevs. Godwin makes a Young Player of the Month award as well. And then I am second for the Manager of the Month. So I've done really well. I'm happy with that. Let's get to the Carabao quarterfinal. Ooh. Carabao quarterfinal draw. And then we've also got the financial status update. We're rich. Doing really well. Profits. I'm happy with that. All right. Quarterfinal draw. Automatic. Come on. Give us a good draw. Some tough teams in here. Uh, Blackburn, Arsenal, Man City at home to Liverpool, Ooh, Stoke at home to West Ham, okay, West Ham it is, we'll take on West Ham, we can do it, so we do take on West Ham, now the next episode is going to be, um, do you know what, I might do those two games there, so Actually, no, I'm going to bust on straight through. We're going to go all the way through to Burnley. No, we will do. We'll do Leicester, West Ham for the next episode. And then after that, I'll bust on through, do the January, possibly do the FA Cup in the next episode, Arsenal, and then whoever we got in the FA Cup third round. So, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps um, me to improve as a content creator um, and hopefully give you guys some decent videos to watch. Um, thank you very much for joining me. 